how would you assess Naomi Osaka after two matches? I, I think she's got to feel really good. I mean, she had a pretty clean win in that opening round, and, and she played a very high level. To be able to go up against a player like Pliskova, who was very high in the plus column, winners to unforced errors, and you yourself produced that kind of a day, Have plus winners to unforced errors. I think, uh, I think all signs are pointing in the right direction. She served 14 aces. Of course, the big stat, Steve, you pointed it out, two for 12 on break points. Clear sign of just not having been out there getting those pressure reps. But the big thing is she is creating these opportunities out there. And the more matches she plays, the execution rate is just going to continue going up. But I, th I think it should be all smiles moving forward. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Naomi has nothing to hang her head about in that match. She is definitely one to watch out for this coming Australian Open. No one's going to want to see her name uh, on the other side of the draw against them. I mean, she's going to probably get a seed, if not the first round, but the second round. So those seeded players better watch out. But she, I agree with you. She needs to clean up those break points. You can't be 2 of 12 and consider yourself a potential top 10 player. You have to really capitalize on those moments and not let them slide. Class half full, she created those opportunities. Absolutely. So uh, Absolutely. down the road, more experience, more match play, she'll be able to convert 